Hello everybody and welcome back to The Sims Life Stories. Uh, Aunt Sharon is home. Dylan's getting in a fight with a cop. And um... Mickey's off going to marry what's her name and... Riley's just enjoying the fight. Awesome! Doofus is getting arrested! Yes! Oh, the day has come! It is so wonderful! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! It's awesome. That is awesome to watch right there. Thank you, officer, for putting Doofus in the... In the, the whatever. Don't worry, Miss Harlow. Your aunt told us everything we need to know. Mr. Kincaid here won't be kicking over any trash cans where he's going. Please be careful, as he wasn't the only one involved in this scheme. So, uh... Uh-oh. Dun-dun-dun-dun. Wow, this was unexpected. I'm a little lost. Perhaps Aunt Sharon can clarify things a bit for me. Yeah, but first, clean up. Oh, oh that's disgusting. And then you can go, go talk to Aunt Sharon. <clears throat> this is gonna get interesting. <laughs> Dylan kept me locked up in his basement trying to force me to declare him my beneficiary. I wouldn't budge, so he set his eyes on the next in line. You. Oh boy. It was crazy coincidence that you two apparently had known each other. Using that, he planned to marry you, then do away with both of us and keep the money for his self, himself and his accomplice. Which is who... I already know, but he even sent you the email in my name. I escaped by using my old army training and went straight to the police. I figured he'd probably be here expecting me to come straight home. And yes, I do know who his accomplice is. I'm just not telling you. One thing he didn't count for was that I swiped his projection television on the way out. Kind of my way of thanking him. Here, you can have it. Yes! Big TV. Too bad the ugliest, <laughs> ugliest woman Dylan was conspiring with isn't here. Just be careful. Sounded like she had something personal against you. Said she'd get you where it hurt the most. Uh oh. Ugliest woman. That can only be Agora. I have to warn Mickey. I bet Fiona knows where the wedding is taking place. Chapter 10. I can't believe it. Dylan and Agora were in cahoots with each other and planned on getting rid of both myself and Aunt Sharon. I like that word, cahoots. <laughs> There's no time to talk, though. I have to go stop Mickey from marrying Agora. I forget. That doesn't really work in this game where you just click on a picture and you can like give you it gives you options and stuff. Call her. What? Why is Fiona working right now? I need her. It's I'm desperate. Yes, you can take a shower. You're showering, right? Yes. Just double checking. She has a tendency to take bubble baths without me knowing. Have an instant meal. Screw the fish. Forget about the fish. Everybody in this in Four Corners apparently really likes to play darts because that's the only thing they want to do when they come to this house. She out of work yet? 
Please be out of work. Talk. It's taking place right now at Old Great Grove Gardens, right next to the park. I'm here, but you better hurry if you hope to stop her. I have to get to Old Grove Gardens and tell Mickey what's going on. Okay, hang up, hang up, hang up. Call taxi. Stop with the sitting. Stop with the sitting. Go. Quick. Move it. Faster. And I will spare you all the loading screen. So... And loading screen. All right, and we are back. Okay, holy crap, they're getting married. There's Fiona. There's Agora. Let's see what Mickey has to say about her little sad job. Um, talk to Mickey. And that's the entire story. That was quick. Agora, is this true? Did you really kidnap Riley's aunt with Dylan in an elaborate insurance scheme and then plan to marry me as personal revenge against her? <laughs> I did it for us, Mickey. I wanted to marry you with all my heart and share the money with you. However, she made you push me aside. But I really love you. <laughs> sure you do. I don't like her that much, but I do like her haircut. Now what? Don't even talk to me. This is over. Ha <laughs> ha. Whoa! Now what do I do? You! You ruined everything! Oh, she's mad at me. Uh oh. I'm gonna get attacked. Oh, come on! What the hell happened to Mickey's hair? Um okay, that's a that's a first. <sighs> okay, hurry up with the fighting. Yeah, we kicked butt. <laughs> Poker. And the cops are here. Hehe. <laughs> and now she's getting into a fight with the cop. What is up with Mickey's hair? Oh my god. <laughs> and the cop wins and Agora gets her butt kicked yet again. Ha ha ha. Now what do I do? Oh, 
I guess I just sit. That's what I do. Oh, Mickey's hair went back to normal. Who's whistling at who? Attraction. Receive a friendly hug. No, I'm not listening to her joke. Miss Harlow, you've been most helpful in this investigation. Miss... Something will not be harming you or your family anymore. Please take this reward as a token of our thanks. What did I get? What did I get? Congratulate. Oh, it's dark now. No, no sitting. Mickey wants to kiss you. Riley, I'm so sorry I didn't follow my heart. Since we met, you've been all I ever think about. Please forgive me for being so blind and do me the honor of just one thing. Ooh la la. Wrong finger, but oh well. <laughs> Riley, I love you with all my heart. I know how foolish I was to let you go, and I promise to never do so again. Won't you marry me right here and now? Get married. Who the hell is this? Carol Yang. Carol Yang, you've got some weird hair. But that's totally cool. That's seriously what I'm wearing when I get married? Or when Riley gets married? Are you serious? Why not a white dress? You know, a wedding dress? Woohoo! <laughs> Mickey has joined the family, and wow, he brought us a lot of money. Congratulations, Riley. I always knew Dylan wasn't the guy for you. Here's a gift from us to you both. Make sure to invite us over when you use it. What is it? Riley, let's get out of here. I hope you like this making aisles. Ooh la la. Hee <laughs> hee. Alrighty. One week later, the first thing we did after landing was drop off our luggage at the hotel and hit the beach. I finally got to wear that really cute shirt I made with that coconut and the dental floss without feeling all weird about it. The only problem was that it seemed to attract birds and insects. But at least we got a lot of beautiful pictures. A few days after we arrived, we found this beautiful secluded lagoon. We wanted to stay there the entire afternoon, but Mickey accidentally stepped on a rockfish. Although the rockfish didn't see it that way. The good news is that the hospital staff here are really quite friendly. The night before we left, we went to this little club with an enormous bubble blower in the middle of the floor. And exactly where we went after that was kind of a blur. The good news is that the local law enforcement are really friendly and said they'd send us the photos. We had a wonderful time here in the Samaican Isles and hope to come back someday. E. Aunt Sharon is still over there eating. No, you, stop that. Go to the bathroom. Um. And I guess Aunt Sharon's gonna give us, like, a family kiss or whatever. 
It's right in the middle of the road. Oh, sweetie, welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful time. I have a little surprise for you. I'm giving you the house. I need a new change of scenery, and I figured this would work out pretty well for you two. Congratulations. Yay, we got the house. House is ours. Now I'm off. I have a lot. I have a hot date with a fellow I met online. You kids have fun, and I want to see lots of grandnephews and nieces. But before I go, I got you a little something. Perhaps you and Mickey can use it to, you know, wink wink. <laughs> Goodbye to Aunt Sharon. Go eat. Uh... Good old Aunt Sharon, always on the move. She does bring up a good point, though. I've always wanted a family. My simological clock is ticking. <laughs> oh, God, that's so corny. Ooh, hot tub. I guess I'll put the hot tub over here. Nowhere else really to put it. Massive television. Get rid of that one. That thing is huge and it's got a it's got a pump up on it. <laughs> and now to replace the bed. a pretty nifty looking bed. Alrighty. What's he doing? He's cleaning up. And then the two of you can go relax on the bed and make baby. That sounded so stupid. Make baby. Riley, stop eating. This is going to be the baby's room. Okay. Now. Cuddle and kiss. Make out and then try for baby. Oh, even he wants a baby. Video. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <gasps> Yay! Riley's pregnant. Woohoo! Mickey is um Did he not go to the bathroom when I told him to? And he can go have an instant meal. And I guess she's just going to take a nap. Whatever. <laughs> And we're gonna spend a couple days pregnant and stuff. I'm gonna have him, um, well, first off, work. Does he work today? Yes, he works tonight, actually. And he needs friends. I keep wanting to do that. When he's done, he can call Sim. Call Sim. Call Sim. We're just gonna try to get him a little more friendly or with some people. Okay, you need to get up. And clean the house.
you're a wife now. Clean the house. I swear I changed her pajamas like a dozen times. Or her, her underwear at least. Like, seriously, if she's gonna romp around in her undies, she might as well look good. And not be wearing, like, some thing that straight up looks like little bits of cloth with little, lots of strings. Oops, no, don't do yoga. Um, when she's done, she can take a bubble bath. Um, just trying to make a friend for him. Because he needs two more friends in order to get a promotion. So. Um, be the best in the slacker career. Okay. This is the romance aspiration. Alrighty. Um, carpool for Mickey will be here soon. And he's made a new friend. She's still in the bubble bath. Guess he can just talk to her for a little bit. Um. <laughs> Excuse me, carpool will be here like 10. Actually, that is actually the end of this episode. Um. Please remember to subscribe, comment, and rate. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Google+, and check out my blog. Links are in the description below. And, um, yeah, next time, we will hopefully have our baby. So, yeah. Until next time, guys. Bye.